Tonight's big story, the investigation continues into a fiery chain reaction crash on I-10 that left five people dead. That stretch of interstate in the East Valley shut down for most of the day before reopening around 5 o'clock this evening. Team 12's Adriana Loya is live for us near I-10 and Chandler Boulevard where the accident occurred. Adriana? Yeah, guys, it's a very different scene out here tonight in comparison to those devastating images we saw today. As you can see, the highway is fully back open tonight as the families of five people who lost their lives are grieving at this hour. One of the valley's busiest highways coming to a stop early Thursday morning. It was very scary. A series of crashes resulting in a fiery scene, killing five people. When I drove by, I could actually feel the heat. It was that hot. This all started around 5 a.m. when a semi-truck caught fire near I-10 and Riggs Road. That truck was able to pull to the side of the road, but became fully engulfed in flames. That causing a traffic jam up to Wild Horse Pass. But then DPS says a possible distracted driver in a semi plowed into three other big rigs. We had a, a, a four semi collision in that backup. The traffic jam by then eight miles long near Chandler Boulevard when around 615 the devastating scene did not appear to have slowed down very much if at all uh, and struck uh, one or two vehicles which uh, it then pushed those vehicles into the back of another semi. Initially, first responders thought there was only one car sandwiched between the two semis. But after hours putting out the flames, the grim discovery showing two cars involved and five lives lost. It's really sad. Cleaning up the large scope of the crash took crews most of the day. I-10 remained closed several hours as the investigation into what happened continues. The devastating scene hitting home for one valley man. Uh, remembering losing my mom in a car accident, so feel for those families. These type of scenes, a reminder to slow down and pay attention. It's unfortunate, and hopefully something good can come from it if there is. I mean, it's terrible losing someone, especially in that way. I mean, five different families are grieving this evening, which is terrible. Now, authorities have not released the identities of those people who lost their lives out here today. They tell us that given the severity of their injuries, it might take them several days to identify them. We're live near the I-10. Adriana Loya, 12 News.